Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. We have healing here. Rejection. Oh, is is somebody finally going to get there? It, it's, it's already giving me the vibe of somebody because this card says on accepting to grow. Healthy choices. And then we have rejection right after that. So is somebody, is somebody getting rejected and it's triggering them to finally grow the hell up? Somebody that's been resisting this connection. Yeah, where there's there's been like a, yeah, somebody has been resisting change. But maybe now that you're rejecting this person, they feel like they have no choice or something like that. We have the star, which is um, Aquarius energy. Clarify healing. We have undecided. See, somebody, things are kind of up in the air because somebody has not been trying to, has not been making the decision to do the things that they would need to do. For, you know, things to change or progress or uh, a, a union to manifest or whatever. Talk about rejection. See, I'm telling you, you guys are cutting somebody off here, setting boundaries. You don't even, I don't think you guys even realize how much you setting boundaries and cutting somebody off and rejecting a, a, a shitty offer from this masculine or feminine, whatever, whoever you're dealing with. It's, it's, for, it's, it's making this person grow up because... You guys are very self-focused at this time. Talk about Frozen. See, Ten of Swords. See? See, something could have happened here where this person was resisting some type of change or ending, and it still happened anyways. Betray so, let's see. We're going to elaborate on that. Time with the star. We have the Eight of Wands. See, something is about to move forward here quickly. Sudden change. Yeah, Spirit says the worst is over. They're wanting you to remain optimistic. I mean, not necessarily about being with this person, but just like in general, they're telling you that you, they know that you've been through a lot, but things are about to get better and they're getting better, like kind of suddenly or quickly. All right. So kind of clear, what is undecided about healing? Or maybe somebody wasn't making up their mind. They were undecided about me doing what they need to do to heal. Uh, we have nine of wands. See, what is this? The 10 of cups. What's this have to do with my collective? The page of pentacles. Okay, if this person wants a new start with you, maybe they, they've been just indecisive about, they know that they want a new start with you, but doing the healing work is what's keeping them in the indecision about whether or not they want to have this new beginning with you, have this new, you know, yeah, this new beginning with you, offer you something. Also, with them coming out as a page, they may, may not have that much to offer you, but somebody does want a new start with you. They're viewing you as their um they're happily ever after why is the nine of wands here though the five of wands what is this conflict what's the conflict the eight of swords Th this is just a lot of internal conflict that's keeping somebody very it's exhausting and it's keeping somebody very defensive what about the two of cups what's the two of cups have to do with my collective the four of cups see somebody feels like they're missing an opportunity What's that have to do with my per what's this have to do with this person? What does that have to do with this person? Long wait, see. This person has made you feel ignored. It's almost like this they've been trying to act like this connection doesn't exist, or they've been trying to they know that this connection is significant, but putting it on the back burner. And it's like Yeah, death. Because they know that there's something may have to come to an end, or they're gonna have to make a very big transition to be with you. Scorpio energy is here. Anything else? It's time though. I'm telling you, Spirit says it's time for change. It's time. It's like, it's time for them to finally grow up, whether they like it or not. So what's enacting this, or what's causing this change? See, I just think it was the Ten of Wands. Yep. Something, what is this ending? Divine timing. At some point, they're going to release something here. See, cannot be trusted. Using weaknesses against you, false promises. Is this with my collective? Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody keeps like making you these false promises, maybe to just sleep with you or they come in and promise you something and then they don't follow through with it. They're very wishy-washy and fickle. But why is the Ten of Wands here? It's like the reason why they've not been able to give you something stable and solid is because they have a karmic partner that they're codependent on or they have some type of addiction. There's something that they're dependent on. What about the Nine of Cups, the karmic partner? King of Swords. So are they getting clarity about what's really going to bring them happiness and fulfillment? What's that mean for this karmic partner? Hiding feelings. And what's the T? What does this have to do with this person? The Six of Pentacles. What's that do with my collective? The Moon. And the Four of Pentacles. Somebody is secretly holding on to you. Ooh, you know what's happening here is that somebody is hiding from a karmic here that they still have feelings for you. Ooh, I don't like that. So 
somebody is hiding from a karmic that they still want to be with you. They still think about you. They still have all these feelings and emotions for you. They they could even be, there could even be, I'm sick of the gossip aspect coming through in the readings. I, I just went on a rant about that in my, the collective I just filmed earlier today. But see, the, this karmic could even ask your person, like, do you still like, do you still have feelings for the collective? Like, do you still like them or want them or something like that? And I feel like they're trying to hide it from a karmic that they have feelings for you or they still want to be with you. Or that you even exist or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like almost said like this person's been keeping you a secret or something like that. Yeah. But they're still holding on to you. But trying not to. So what are they going to end up doing? I feel like they're going to end up releasing this person with the Ten of Wands because it's very burdensome. Yeah, they're getting clarity about something. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. What? Clarity, Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles? The Chariot. There's somebody that they want to move forward towards who they feel is very abundant and confident and stable. Yeah, they, you're the one that they want to commit to. Taurus energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer energy here. So what are they going to do in regards to this, this karmic then? Three of Cups. Ooh, I don't like that. What about the Three of Cups? The Six of Cups. Okay. The Magician. But why, what about the third party though? The Cold as Ice. It's almost like, I don't know, guys. I don't think that they're 100% ready to let go of this other person. Although they know that you're the one that they want. Why are they not letting go of that other person? The Six of Swords. What about the Six of Swords? Hanged Man. Maybe they're, they'll get to that point where they feel like they it's time for them to finally leave that situation. Why? What's making them finally make that decision to leave it? Because they've been kind of, you know, holding on. See, unawakened, though. What's making them do this? Ghosting. Okay. Taming Hunger. See, this is definitely somebody. Okay, what about Taming Hunger before I talk? The World. Okay. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you. Something ended between the two of you, but they're watching you. They're and they're stressed out. Why are they stressed? Because they're getting karma, or they want another chance. Yes, yeah, Scorpio energy, Two of Wands. But see, they don't still know what they want exactly. I'm sick of this energy too. Temperance. If this person could have, I don't even know. I don't even want to say if they could have you and this other person, they would. I mean, that's what they've been trying to have, but that's not what they really want. I want to get down to the root of why. Why are they holding on to this karmic? Be careful this person is still trying to put you in a third-party situation. That's probably why they're getting rejected and why you guys have set boundaries with them because they keep trying to put you in a third-party situation. Why do they keep holding on to this karmic? How do they feel? Well, yes, we know it's a karmic partner. <laughs> so that's just double confirmation right there that there is a karmic that's in the mix that they're not releasing, that they're codependent on. So it could just be that it's codependency, guys, that they're codependent on that person. That person, and it could even be like dependent in like when it comes to money, um, security, things like that. Time warm. We have the chariot. Okay. And we have the moon. Ooh. Okay. Pisces energy. What a catch. What's this have to do with the karmic? The six of cups, okay, and the page of wands. Ace of pentacles. The five, there's conflict. There, see, there was something that happened here. They, they either returned to this karmic or something because I think that they went towards that person or something like that. Because of an illusion. They do have a very complicated relationship with them. But they, they pursued that person out because of some type of illusion. They could have at the time thought that. What does what, is, what a catch mean for the karmic? Is that for them? Devil? No. They feel like there's something toxic about them and this other person. Capricorn energy. The tower though. And Scorpio energy. The five of cups. What's the regret coming from? The ghosting. Who got ghosted here? Do they were, what's the ghosting mean for this person? See, no, I feel like the marrying in what way? The page of swords. I'm telling you, they're watching you. Wanting to reach out to you. Um, why are they having conflict with this karmic? The three of wands. See, okay, and then what? The high priestess. What? Is, why are they having conflict? Divine timing. Why are they having conflict with this third party? The knight of wands. Oof. The dark night of the soul. They could have also been stringing that karmic along or that karmic was stringing them along, making them wait or something like that. Somebody was lustful or a cheater. Yeah, the two of swords. That person, that, that karmic could have had a choice between two people. 
or somebody had a choice on that end. What does the choice mean? It's specifically for the karmic, the four of cups. See, and what does this mean for the person that the six of wands? See, it's something that this person with this person you were dealing with was benefiting off of, but you weren't benefiting off of it and the karmic wasn't either. All right. So it's like this person was like either you like they were using this. They were doing something. I, even if this it's like I told you this karmic asked your person like do you is there anybody else are you talking to somebody else are you cheating on me um if they know about you they were like are, do you still have feelings for the collective like are you do you still want them I feel like there was something like they kept this person waiting or something like that or they kept telling this person that things were going to move to the next level or something like that telling them to be patient with them meanwhile they're in this nine of wands energy they have no intention of taking things to the next level with this person this karmic is not happy with them either it's like things aren't moving forward between the two of them either why do they want to keep holding on to that person that's what i what do they want from them ten of cups tell me more about ten of cups internal conflict because this person doesn't know who makes them happy i feel like it's like the six of swords maybe for somebody somebody keeps hoping that something will get better that they can be happy together is that how this person feels the person that my collective is dealing with the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so it could be your person where they're dealing with somebody that's a player and they keep stringing your person along but they're starting to realize that like this person's just a player or just taking advantage of them um they're getting to that point where they want to move on it's like this this karmic or whatever maybe didn't know if they wanted your person or another person and um i feel like your person was trying to hope that something would get better or something that it would turn into something long lasting and stable and whatever but how does this person feel about my collective though the three of swords why are they heartbroken over you queen of pentacles they're heartbroken because now they see that you are the one that's stable. They are. They see that now you are the one that they could have had the happily ever after with and the, the abundance and all that shit with. That's why they're sad because they put you in a third party situation and now you guys are in conflict. Yeah, they put you in competition. That's why. Yep. They walked away from you. They withdrew from the connection to and left you out in the cold. Yep. To go. What, the, what, what did they think was going to happen with this third party? You see, they thought that they were going to be like love. Yeah, they thought that that, that that person was taking them seriously. For some of you, they thought they were going to be financially stable there. Stable. They thought that maybe that person was going to be loyal now or that they would have security there. And I don't think it turned out that way. For some of you, they went over there because of children. What about children? What about nine of wands? This person is just very emotionally guarded. It could be stemming from their childhood. But what did they? what was the outcome that they wanted with this karmic? The ripped apart. Did they want somebody to be vulnerable with them? The here font. They wanted a commitment with that person, apparently. How'd that work out? It didn't work out. New perspectives. And see, at some point, I think this person thought that they wanted to settle down with that person. And now they don't feel that way anymore. And I think it's because why are they realizing that they don't want that person anymore? The hermit, because they've been doing some soul searching. What does it mean for my collective? They're, they're realizing that they were confused or something was illusion, an illusion. Uh, yeah, because you know what was making them confused? I told you money. They chose, they're realizing they chose money over love. And um, that money was the deter what was really keeping them from leaving that situation. Yeah. Two of cups. Manifest. See, they want to get back together with you now that they're seeing this. Yes, they definitely want a union with you. What was this third party doing to them? Cheating on them? Hiding their... See, they were with... Guys, they were with somebody that was just like them. Yeah, what were... What, what was going... What did this third party do to them? Justice? Whatever it was. It was definitely karma. Karmic. What did this person do to them? Juggled them. I swear they juggled them, guys. What about temperance? They're cutting that person off, though. That's all I can know. They're, they're cutting that third party off. And what about the three of cups? I don't like that. The ace of wands. The queen of cups. And what's the... They want to know what's going on about you. They want to have a sexual encounter with you. But is that all that they want? No, they do view you as wish fulfillment. Something is changing. 
Yeah, Page of Pentacles, long wait. They're going to finally come in and want to offer you something. But again, I don't think that they have much to offer you because I feel like whatever they whatever they did have to offer before or whatever stability or money that they had was coming from this karmic. I don't even know. I'm still trying to figure out what was so appealing to them about that karmic. Was it because that? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Tell me more. Lucy, you guys. So you guys could have walked away from this person, too. You you gave up because says you are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. We have on a pedestal. I, I was already hearing in my head. They don't feel good enough for you. They don't feel good enough for you. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. So they've been choosing somebody where they don't really have feelings and emotions invested into that person. The person they're dealing with also doesn't have feelings and emotions invested into them. But they were just maybe just. I don't know. Maybe it was financially. They maybe felt like they had their money together when they were with that person. I don't know. But they have a lot of feelings for you. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Yeah, there's more to this love story, though. You cannot see it now. There's so much more to unfold. We have stone. I told you. They are emotionally unavailable. It is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. They kept going back and forth between you and this other person. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. We have missing you, though. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. We have message. They're going to reach out to you. Or they know that if they're going to if they're gonna reach out to you, they have to do right by you. And, yeah. They have a lot. I told you, this person wants intimacy with you, like sex. Okay? They're starting to also realize the difference between love and lust. Because I feel like they had a hard time discerning between the two. Sorry, guys. My son's out there banging on something. Uh, we have temptation. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Sorry, guys. My kids are being loud. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Hopefully that um decreased the noise level a little bit. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I do feel like you're going to hear from this person, but they, it's like they're, they're a little bit hesitant, but I still don't understand. Hmm. You can take a deeper look in the extended to see like more of what was the motivate, motivating factor for why they were, what has been keeping them over there with that situation? Do they love that person? What is it? See, well, yes, we know it's a karmic. Even though this is a karmic con connection, it is meant to help you grow and heal so that you may find your true soulmate or twin flame. And they found it in you. But why are they not? What's, what's, why is it so hard for them to detach from this karmic? See, they don't know, even know who they are without that person. Yeah, you feel like you are slowly losing yourself in the process of loving them and forgetting that you are also deserving of love. Yeah, they don't even, somebody is codependent. They've, they've lost their identity and whoever that karmic is. Hmm. Tell me more. Safe space, though. What's to do with rejection and wounds? They have rejection, fears, or wounds that are so great they're not ready, willing, or able to face them right now. Reason the union will fail to flourish. So that's a problem as well. But they do feel they know that they they are safe with you. Like a part of them does know that your twin will feel safer being friends first before getting intimate. Learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side. Tell me more. Yeah, there's a breakthrough here friendship what is that about so maybe they're gonna want to like build a friendship with you or that's what they've been trying to do they may even gift you something like material unplanned events what is forcing this person to feel like it's time for them to finally grow up see but it says not this lifetime they are your true twin flame but sadly there's a possibility that they won't end up you won't end up together in this lifetime due to circumstances outside of your control because they have a really strong attachment to this third party and they have a really bad issue with self-sabotaging get to know your attachment pattern so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships but we do have possibilities here it says there is potential however that the know this could translate to being a project and it's up to you so they're just telling you that you know there is potential there 
but it's gonna it's not gonna be easy but whereas i'm saying it's not gonna be easy we have easy breezy so no relationship is easy but it shouldn't be a war either you will work together and make room for improvements in your connection see look at this false hope i told you somebody is leading somebody on I don't know if it's your person leading this karmic on or the karmic leading them on, but it says a false twin flame. So they could be dealing with a false twin. You are their true. You, and you often meet your false twin flame before your real one. So whoever there, somebody had a reading like this. Oh, it was a couple weeks ago, but there was a reading about a false twin flame, but a false twin flame will lead you on and tell you that they feel the same way about you only for you to discover later on that that isn't the case. See, I don't know if it's your person or if it's this karmic that's doing this, but we have mirroring has come out twice. It says your twin is reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the relationship. We do have the climax here. Yeah, it's like something is reaching that point where it's like things are about to change. There's anxiety and worries about your bond with your twin. You may be in separation, but if you get through it, you'll emerge stronger than ever. This person has issues with commitment too. They, they're, so, they're like they, they, they have a very toxic dynamic them and this karmic too they're very disrespectful to one another there's lack of respect between the two of them um i just still don't see like why <laughs> i'm still trying to get like how does this person feel about the karmic see awakened fears your worst fears are being awakened such as rejection abandonment loss or commitment issues and bringing out all the skeletons hiding in your closet and we have cheating heart i'm telling you if you were cheated on, it is likely negative emotions are running high. You must honestly ask yourself if it's worth saving or just to walk away. I'm telling you, either they cheated on this karmic or the karmic cheated on them. And it's just like the, the relationship is in shambles. But neither one of them are walking away because they have, it's like. <sighs> they're about to though. They're about to walk away from that situation. Why? But we see they're realizing that that situation, they can't fix that situation. You've experienced so much pain and you're struggling to see the purpose or the point of the relationship. Perhaps it's time to let go and begin to heal. Exactly. It's time to let go. So somebody's finally letting go. Remember the first card that came out was healing. They're finally letting go of a karmic and they're starting to heal or they're about to start healing from that situation because they're realizing things are not going to get better there. I don't know who cheated on who or they were cheating on each other because I told you there was a lack of respect in that connection. So they could have been cheating on each other or that person doesn't respect them and they cheat on them. I don't know. They could have been cheating on this karmic with you. I don't know, but what's this mean for my collective though? See, the connection is in so intense, almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities to avoid seeing the negative. Is it love or addiction you feel? Lusting. I see a lot of, is this for my collective? Trap. See, this isn't for you guys. What does my collective need to know? Magical. That already tried to come out. Something about you makes this person feel safe. So what is this leading to with this, with my collective and this person? memories and we have oh, see there's i don't know guys i really don't know there's so much karmic energy see there's that no respect thing again commitment issues they have a lot of karmic lesson there's that climax though again so what's the climax leading to see we have i don't know some of you guys may end up just being friends with this person what is the climax hesitation what is this leading to one goal two ways Hmm. And chart compatibility again, awakening. We're going to take this over to the extended. I want to see more of like what this person's intentions or next moves is towards you. I see that they are finally kind of throwing in the towel when it comes to a situation here. I need to get more clarity on what their intentions are going for it when it comes to you. Because I still see them having a lot of issues here. Okay, they're still non-committal. But I do see that they may be finally starting to release something here that was keeping them stuck. A situation that they were hoping was going to get better, hoping that they would settle down with somebody. I don't know. It's almost like they, they've been trying to go through this process of under, realizing that who they thought was their person isn't their person. And they're realizing that they have found somebody that they can actually build a life with, but they have to like kind of like, completely get out of that mindset that this other person was their person does that make sense like they have been maybe having a hard time coming to terms with that especially if it's history there and there's comfortable you know it's comfortable you know who wants to start over 
you know what I mean? Like all over again. So, you know, I feel like it was just easier for them to try to make that situation work. I feel like this person, they feel like this person knows knows them at their worst or has seen them at their worst and something like you know like i don't know but there's also something about you that makes them feel like they know that your heart their heart would be safe with you be safe with you